Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining me. Please make sure you share. It's very important. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Yes, yes, yes. It is a great thing to serve Jesus. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Sister Joy. If you are joining me for the first time, my name is Sister Joy. I am a vessel in the hands of the Lord. Thanks for joining me and make sure you share. It's very important. Share your page. Share your timeline because you don't know who we need this word tonight. So please do me a favor and do yourself a favor because God is going to bless us as we do his work. Every one of us who are doing the work of God, it's not just me, all right? I'm going to play some Nigerian gospel song tonight. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I am so blessed to have every one of you. Thank you, sister. Williams, may God bless you. Georgia, thanks for joining me. Thank you, everyone that have come to join me tonight. May God bless every one of you. In the name Eba Sanda, Rabo Sokoba Sanda. God has given me a word for somebody tonight. And we ought to celebrate this God because He's a, a mighty God. What can we compare to Him? Nothing. So, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, please begin to praise Him as I sing praise. As we worship and as I thank him for what he has done for me. Hallelujah. Give him praise tonight. <laughs> May God bless everyone. Invite somebody, tag somebody, whether they like it or not. This is midnight. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. And when they prayed, he shook the foundation of the prison. So when you pray, something happens. You might be watching and say, what are we doing here tonight? But we are stopping the hands of the enemy. We are trying to break chains. We are trying to uh, uh, go into the dream of the spirit and begin to break chains. That which the enemy has sown tonight, we're going to approach it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me. Lion of Judah, we bow down. The sick will be set free. The barren woman will have children. The single will be married. Your marriage will be healed tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty man of war, worship him tonight. We bow down and worship you, Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do what only you can do. There is something only God can do. There is something me and you we cannot do, but only God can do it. Maleva, Sai, I'm going to celebrate this king. And make sure you share. Oh, yeah. You're the God that kills. And also make a life. You're the life. Roger, thanks for joining me. Sister, thanks for watching. What only you can do. You are my glory. And the lifter up of my hands. As a mention of your name, oh. All the demons will tremble tonight. Because you are awake and you are praying. The Bible said that we gather not by him, they will be scattered. The Bible said at midnight. They come to so ties. You have to break everything that the enemy is showing tonight. And worship you. Yeah. 
So let us pray because I'm not going to take much of your time so you can go to bed. Father, it's in the name of Jesus. I come in the name that's above every other name, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, we commit tonight into your hands. Angels of the living God, Spirit of the living God, we invite you into our presence tonight. We thank you for you are God. You are fighting our battles. Thank you for all that you have done for us and all that you are yet to do. We come here tonight to magnify your holy name because you are doing great and things for us. Father, thank you for every life, every soul that have come to join me tonight. Father, we magnify your name. We glorify your holy name. You are God all by yourself. Thank you for your presence is here. Eba Sanda Yaba. Thank you for your presence is here tonight. Father, we invite you, oh Lord, into every home tonight. Father, you are God all by yourself. Do what only you can do. Fight our battles, oh Lord. Break every chain. Destroy every mountain. Destroy things that is not of you in our lives, oh Lord, tonight. In the name of Jesus. That which the enemy has sown tonight. Let the angels begin to approve it tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch every life, oh Lord. Save every soul tonight. Set them free tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do what only you can do because you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. Thank you for your presence is here. Thank you for what you have done. We are so grateful. Thank you, Lord. Come down tonight to fight every battle. Come down tonight to touch every soul tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take control tonight. Lord, let them not hear me, but hear you. Thank you for what you are doing for us spiritually and physically. We bless you tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me. May God bless you for joining me tonight. I am so glad to be here tonight. There is something that God revealed to me. There are so many of us that are watching me tonight. The enemy is fighting you from, from this end to this end. And the enemy is accusing you because God said to me, said, Joy, the devil is the accuser of the brethren. When you read Psalm 35, verse 1, you will know that the devil is not playing. Psalm 35, verse 1. That is what God revealed to me last night. Have everybody there, put it down if you're hearing the sound of my voice. Psalm 35, verse 1. The psalmist said, Plead my cause. Plead my cause, O Lord. Plead my cause. Fight for me, O Lord. Defend me, O Lord. Defend me, O Lord. Plead our cause tonight. Because we are going to break some chains tonight. We are first of all going to thank God for the battle He's fighting for us spiritually. God is fighting for us spiritually, but none of us have the idea. Many people don't know that God is fighting for us. The battle you cannot fight by yourself because the Bible made me know that God does not sleep nor slumber. He said He's fighting our battle. So when you read some. 35 verse 1, he said, plead my cause, O Lord, where I cannot fight, God fight for me. Where I cannot reach, God reach for me. The battles are fighting me, you said the battle is not mine, but yours. God fight my battles tonight, because they are gathering tonight, not by God, but they shall be scattered tonight. He said, plead my cause, because when you are sleeping, they are fighting, they are praying, they are making incantations over your life, over your destiny. That is why the Sabbath is careful to say, plead my cause. There are people saying, I will not be married. God, plead my cause. Fight for me. They said, my marriage will not work. God, fight for me. They said, I will not have children. God, fight for me. They said, I will not pass my test. God, fight for me. They said, I will not have a job. God, fight for me. Plead my cause. Oh, Lord, in our marriage, plead our cause. We're going to break. The enemy have come. This is what the revelation God gave to me. The enemy have come to put an anchor. He want to put an anchor. Let me tell you, when the anchor is put on you, 
in your hands, you cannot move your hands. When the handcuff is put on your legs, you cannot move your legs. So let us tonight, we're going to pray just for a few minutes and we'll be out of here. Let us begin to tell God tonight to defend us. Because God always defends us. That is why, even if they have gathered, even if they have come to fight us, they are not able to succeed. Even if they are coming with charcoals to help up you, God said tonight he's fighting for you. In every area of your life, God is fighting for you. You might not know it spiritually. The battle that God is fighting for us spiritually is more than what we can see. It's more than what we can see with our natural eyes. If not for God, where could you have been tonight? Where could you have been? All the battles that God is fighting for you. God is fighting for us every day of our life. That is why I say watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Because when you watch and pray, he's fighting for you. Then you give him the more energy to begin more to fight for you. If God see the effort you are putting in your life, God will go extra mile for you. For that man, that woman, that the enemy have come to put a handcuff on their hands. Put a handcuff on their legs. Tonight we're going to break those handcuffs. Thank you, Risa, for joining me tonight. God bless you. We're going to break, we're going to ask God, be the fourth man in our life. Be the fourth man in our marriage. Be the fourth man in our family. Be the fourth man in our business. In everything that concerns you, God is going to be the fourth man tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you are today, begin to pray. Psalm 33, verse 19. So, verse 18. Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. The eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Do you fear the Lord? Do you know that this man of war, the creator of the heavens and the earth, he said, the Lord, behold, the Lord's eyes is a it's upon those that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy. Tonight, we have come for God's mercy. Tonight, we have come for God's mercy. Because those that fear him, his eyes is upon them. You cannot tell you are a child of God and you don't have fear for God. You can't tell me that. And he said tonight, we have come upon them that hope on his mercy. Do you hope on God's mercy? Do you believe on God's mercy? Because tonight, that mercy will work for you. God's mercy is working upon us. God's mercy is working upon our life. That is why we are alive today. If you are watching this broken, please don't forget to share. Don't forget to like the video because God will bless you for sharing. We're going to help somebody tonight. And me and you are going to do this work in the name of Jesus. And he said in 19, to deliver, the, to deliver their soul from death. Tonight, God is going to deliver our soul from death. Those are the prayer points we're going to pray tonight. God is going to deliver so many souls tonight from death. Because they are gathered tonight, they are making incantations. They are saying this one is going to die. This one is going to die. This one will not have a child. This one's married. Because white men slept, the enemy come to sow ties. So we're going to stand in agreement tonight. We're going to ask God, even as they are guarding, they are not guarding unto God. They are not guarding unto, they are guarding unto evil. Because they are planning evil tonight. They are making incantations. Thank you, Sister Tanya, for joining me tonight. Thank you, um, Elizabeth, for joining me tonight. God bless you all. So God is going to deliver us tonight. God is going to have mercy upon our soul tonight. The heart of, the heart of them that fear the Lord, you have to fear God. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're doing. You have to fear this God. You have to fear the God. Let the mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us according to your hope, according to our hope in thee. So tonight, what I have come to tell us tonight is that God has already won this battle for you. When the enemy brought the charcoals to, to put on our hands, God said, no, I will plead their cause. 
I'm so excited tonight because God is spirit our cause. Mande Kabasha, whether you believe it or not, spiritually, God is fighting your cause. That is why we are not consumed. That is why we are still alive today, in spite of what is going on around the world, because God is on our side. Child of God, we're going to pray today. We're going to ask God to break every chain of the enemy over our life, over our destiny. There are some things that we do and we are holding on. We cannot let go because the enemy said, this thing is going to kill you. And you don't even have any idea. This thing is going to do this. They are making incantation every night. The Bible said when men slept, the enemy came to no ties. So side. They so ties. That is why when your marriage is working, you wake up a day. It's just like hellfire. You say, well, what am I into? That is why when your business is growing, suddenly it's not doing anyway. So God, what is going on? Because when men slept, the enemy comes to sow ties. So tonight, every tie that the enemy has sown in our life, we're going to break it tonight. We're not going to be silent anymore. We're not going to be silent anymore over our children, over our destiny, over our marriage, over our business. Even in the place of work, the enemy is fighting. Let's begin to decree tonight that that which God has spoken over our life will surely come to pass. No man can stop it. No man can prevent it because we are in the hands of the Lord. So let us begin to declare and ask God that that chain, that charcoal that the enemy has brought, tonight there are some people they said today, they are going to burn their hands. They are going to put a chain, a charcoal on their hands. That is what they are saying tonight. But God said, I have come to plead your cause. There are some people that the, the enemy have come to say, we are going to destroy their marriage tonight. We're going to destroy their children tonight. Some of them are going to die tonight. But God said, no, I have come to plead their cause. Tonight, we have to pray that God, oh Lord, this is where, how you're going to pray. God, tonight, plead my cause, oh Lord. In my marriage, God, plead my cause. In my children's life, God, plead my cause. In my own life, God, plead my cause. Fight my battles. Defend me. That's what he said. Defend me, oh Lord. Where they are calling me spiritually, defend me. Where they are making incantations for my life, defend me. That is what we are going to tell God tonight, wherever you are. Male, Kaba, Shana, begin to tell God to defend you. Eba, Sandayaba, in your marriage, God, defend me. Rabba, Shandayaba, in my children's life, God, defend me. Le, Keba, Sokoba, Sandaya, in every area of my life, God, defend me. Rabba, Shandayaba, Hele, Keba, Sokoba, Sandaya, Hele, Leba, Sekebo, Sokoba, Sandaya, Hele, Kaba, Sandaya, Baba, Baba. Holy Ghost, defend us tonight. Blood of Jesus, defend us tonight. The Bible says when Paul and Silas prayed, he they shook the foundation of the prison and the doors begin to open. So is there any man tonight that the enemy has put a charcoal on their hands? Begin to break it tonight. Male kaba shandaya. Peel our cause tonight, mighty God. Hele basoko basandaya. Do what only you can do. Ancient of days. Malenda kaba ye kebasa. Hele ba 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 basoko basayandaya. Le keba ye keba soko basandaya. Plead our cause tonight, oh Lord. Do what only you can do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Malenda kaba ye kebasa. Hele ba 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 soko basandaya. Begin to pray tonight. Ask God to stop every manifestation of the enemy. Ask God to plead your cause tonight over your family, over your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if you don't pray, I'm sorry for you. Let God plead your cause tonight. Let God fight your battles tonight. Let God defend you tonight. Where, you're, where they are calling your name spiritually, let God defend you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, le keba soko ba sanda ya baba, le ba ye keba soko ba seke nda kade ya basa, le ba ye keba sanda ya baba baba, ra ba ye keba so, le nda kaba ye keba sa, ale nda kabo soko ba sa, le nda kaba ye kaba. God, plead our cause tonight. Those that say they will never have children, God, plead our cause tonight. Those that say they will not be married, God, plead our cause tonight. Because tonight they have gathered, but they have not gathered unto God. What is that the enemy has said about you? God, plead our cause tonight. Speaking to your future tonight, let the enemy know that you are not playing. Let the enemy know that God is on your side. Let 
se ke ba sa le be se ke bo so ko ba sa when paul and silas were kept in the prison they never knew that somebody was praying they never knew that their praise and worship will get on to god but god begin to shake the foundation let god begin to shake the unshakable in your life let god begin to shake the unshakable in your family let god begin to shake the unshakable in your marriage let god begin to shake the unshakable in your life in the mighty name of jesus mandere bo so ko ba sa nda ya baba hele ka ba ye ke ba sa nda ya ba lord please our cause tonight over our lives over our destiny please our cause tonight over every single woman every single man please our cause over those that are sick oh lord male ka ba sha nda ya ba hele ke ba so ko ba they will not die they will live to proclaim the words of the lord please our cause tonight in the mighty name of jesus male ke ba don't forget to share and don't forget to invite male de ke ba so ko ba sha nda ya baba hele ke ba so ko ba sha nda ya baba hele nda ka ba ye ke ba sha nda ya ba please our cause oh lord raba ye ke ba sha nda ya ba bid my cause oh lord le ke ba send the kende ya ba please our cause oh lord male ke ba sha nda ya baba over our lives over our destiny please our cause oh lord in the mighty name of jesus mandere bo so ko ba sha nda ya ba hele ke ba sha nda ya ba please our cause tonight in the mighty name of jesus do what only you can do because you are god hele ke ba sha nda ya ba hele ke ba so ko ba sha nda ya ba hale ba ye ke ba sha nda ya please our cause tonight over every life spiritually oh lord please our cause spiritually oh lord fight our battles do what only you can do ancient of days in the mighty name of jesus i'm going to pray for every single woman and i'm going to pray for every marriage and i'm going to pray for our families hale kaba shanda and then we are done hale kaba sanda you will say this few minutes of prayer we have disorganized the plans of the enemy this two minutes of prayer we have we have set fire into the kingdoms of the enemy male kaba shanda we have set fire into the gardens of the enemy just like we have gathered tonight they are also are gathering because they sleep in the morning in the afternoon they gather in the night so that is why the bible say when men slept the enemy come to sow ties and they sow kind of ties when men because men love to sleep so as you are praying tonight it might be two minutes prayer but let me tell you he has done so havoc in the sight of the enemy he has done some havoc in the kingdom of darkness tonight we are awake male keba shanda we are awake to take our possession to fight our battles because god is fighting for us that's why we have the boldness to stand tonight because god said he never sleeps he never slumber that is why me and you can come out today and pray because he's the fourth man in our situation he's the fourth man in our marriage he's the fourth man in our single life he's the fourth man in every rest of our life that is why we cannot sleep too much you have to learn how to pray midnight prayer because this midnight prayer goes a long way we have tried it and it works think about shandaya so begin to tell god what you want him to do tonight what you want what you want the enemy to do what you want the enemy to take his hand off your life off your marriage off your children's life off your family off your business off your job begin to speak tonight that God almighty will hear our cry he will hear our cry in the mighty name of Jesus he will hear our cry tonight in the mighty name of Jesus he will fight your battles tonight in the mighty name of Jesus he will take away ties that the enemy has sold in your life and in your family in the mighty name of Jesus begin to pray tonight Shandayaba. Holy Ghost, begin to fight for us. Malekeba Shandayaba. Holy Ghost, begin to move on our behalf. Rekeba Sandayaba. Holy Ghost, begin to fight over, over every marriage. Fight for us, O Lord. Plead our cause in our single life. Plead our cause in our family. Plead our cause in our children's life. Plead our cause in the mighty name of Jesus. Endekeba soko ba sandaya. Malekeba soko ba sandaya baba. Rekeba ye keba soko ba sandaya. Malenda kaba ye keba sandaya. Rekeba soko ba senda ya kanda ya ba le ba ye keba soko ba sanda ya hele le le boso male keba shanda ya ba holy ghost begin to fight begin to fight for your children eba ba sekene in every area begin to fight begin to fight in the mighty name of Jesus mande keba sanda ya ba 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 le keba soko ba seke ya ba sa male keba soko ba sanda ya hele keba sa kanda ya ba 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 re ba sa kanda ya boso male keba shanda ya ba ba hele keba soko ba sanda ya those that say your marriage 
not work. Those that say you will not have children. Those that say you will not be married. Malanda kaba shekebasa. Hele baba soko basa. Father the Holy Ghost. Male kaba shandaya. Hele kaba shandaya ba. Hele kaba shandaya ba. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to fall in the cup of the enemy tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to fall in their garden tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hele ba shandaya baba. Raba ye keba shandaya. Hele ba shekeba soko basa. Hele kaba shandaya ba 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 ba. Hele ba soko ba shandaya ba ba. Ra kaba ye keba sa. Re ba ye keba soko ba shandaya. Reba Sandaya Baba Baba. Holy Ghost, begin to work for us, O Lord. Begin to work for us, O Lord. Ele Keba Sanda. Begin to pray that cause, O Lord, like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do what only you can do. Because you are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning. You are the end. You are the first. You are the last. Who is like unto you, mighty Jehovah? Who is like unto you, mighty Jehovah? Father, those things that they said they were going to do, Father, destroy it, O Lord. That is not of you. The Bible said, Revelation said, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. You cannot touch the prophet of God. John, John, um, um, Psalm, let me go to Psalm, Psalm, uh, Psalm 33, like the one, the one I, I was reading. Or let me go to John first. John 8, verse 43. It said, The thief cometh to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But God hath come to give us life and to give it to us more abundantly. Are you not happy? The thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But only God. In the midst of those, in the midst of the of the devil or the enemy doing his thing, God is right there. Say, no, touch this one. T don't touch this one. This one belongs to me. I will fight her battles. Don't start your soul. You cannot see because this one belongs to me. These ones are my children. You cannot touch them tonight. So that is why we have come boldly. Into the throne of mercy, God, have mercy upon us. Fight our battles. Do what only you can do because you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. Yes, he's the Alpha, he's the Omega. He's the beginning, he's the end. He's the one that is and is to come. Who is like unto this God? Nobody. So why can't you just put your trust in God? Why can't you just begin to put your trust in God like never before? Let the enemy know that you stand your ground. That you can never mess with your family. Let the enemy know that he cannot mess with your children. He cannot mess with your marriage. He cannot mess with your life. We have the power to change those things. We begin to talk to God in prayer. We have the power to change those things. If we begin to talk to God in prayer. Let God fight our battles, O Lord. Let God begin to move on our behalf like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me tonight. I am so grateful that many of you have come in tonight. But don't forget... That when men slept, the enemy come to so ties. Don't forget that. So that you begin to know the value and the importance of praying midnight prayer. Because the enemy have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But God himself has come to give us life. And that life has come to give us more abundantly. So let us pray. I want to pray. Let us pray for every family tonight. Every family that have gathered tonight. Wherever you are and you're hearing the sound of my voice. And there's every way, every corner, every look that the enemy is fighting, poking your family. Tonight, God has come to put an end to it. Begin to ask God to begin to, to fight your battles. Fight your battles over your family. Begin to ask God to be the fourth man in your life, in your family. Begin to ask God to do what only him can do in your life. Because when you begin to praise and begin to pray to God, God answers prayer. The Bible says, God answers prayer. And he said he will hear your voice when you pray. He said, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock that's higher than I. Hear my cry, O Lord, attend unto my prayers. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to that rock. Who is the rock? The rock is Jesus. And he's pleading your cause tonight. I want to pray over your marriage. Lekeba sandaya ba 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 soko basa. Lekeba sandaya ba 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 sekende kende ya. Every agent of Satan. Lekaba ye kaba sandaya. They have they have sent over your marriage. Eleba sakaba so. Malekeba sandaya ba. They are wolves in sheep clothing. Lekeba sandaya ba ba ba. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Hele kaba sanda begin to move. Malekaba sandaya. Let the angels of the living God begin to break those chains. Hele kaba sanda. Is there any charcoal they have used to handicap your husband, to handicap your wife, to handicap your children? Let God begin to break those chains. Raba sanda nebosu. Malekeba sanda. I tell your marriage will never be sweet. Tonight, we begin to approve them tonight. Is there any incantation they have made and they said they will never be married?
Kabare, Malera Bassa, Cabasso, Cabasa, Rekabasso, the Caba, Ebasa, Eleva Yak, Ah, Hale Cabasha, I break every chain, Male Cabasha, that is keeping you away from getting married, Male Cabasso, Coba Sandaya, Ele Cabasana, for a pin of a cost tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. Is anyone has spoken over your destiny? I said, You never go front, you never boom buffer, you are just in the circle, you are not moving forward, you are not making bad. Tonight, let God begin to bring you out from that austerity. Let God begin to bring you out from that place where they have placed you alone. Malek, if you are in your hand, begin to step away from where you are. I said, God, move me. Malek, from where the enemy have kept me. Man, there was so Koba Sandaya. Hele, Keba Shandaya. Is there anything? They are talking about your children and they say your children will not prosper. Tonight, let that chain be broken. Hele, Basakane. Let that chain be broken in the name of Jesus. Let that chain be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Malek, Keba Shandaya. Hele, Keba Sanda. Move the foundation. Malek, Keba Sanda. Hele, Baseke. Lord, let them know tonight that you are God. Malek, Keba Shanda. Let them know tonight that we serve a living God. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. The word that is yesterday and today and forever. Hele, Keba Shanda. The word that is seated at the right hand of God, his Father. Malek, Keba Shanda. The one that rose from the dead. Heba, Ye, Keba Shanda. Power belongs to this God. I declare today and I declare. I said, God will fight your battles. Male Kaba Shanda. I said, God will fight for you. Le Baye Kibasa. God will fight for your family. Mande Kaba Shanda. God will fight for your marriage. Le Baye Kibasa. God will fight for you in your single life. Male Kaba Shanda. God will move mountains. Mande Kaba Shanda. Father the Holy Ghost we begin to fall, fall in the camps of the enemy. Whatever even the plan they have planned for you, we go back to sender. Ele Kaba Shanda. Go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ale Kaba Shanda. Begin to plead the blood tonight over your family. Begin to plead the blood tonight over your marriage. Begin to plead the blood tonight over your single life. Begin to prove the blood of Jesus over your business, over your place of work in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you sick tonight? Have the enemy afflicted you over sickness over your over your life? Tonight, let God Almighty begin to heal you. Hele Bashanda, return the sickness back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Is there anyone tonight that have a family that's in the hospital? Father God, begin to heal them, begin to touch them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Because many of them are there in the hospital. Nobody's praying for them. Nobody is reaching out to them in prayer. Because God, when you pray, something happens spiritually. So many of us don't know that. That you say, I will not pray, I'll be praying. No, when you pray, something begins to shift spiritually. You might not know it, but I tell you, something is moving. Something is moving. Something is working on your behalf. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, have released his angels to work on our behalf. He said, have anybody accused you? The accuser of the brethren. Have anybody... Condemned you. He said he has not condemned us. Why would the lying tongue condemn us? Why would the lying devil condemn us? When God himself has not condemned us. He has come. He wants to destroy. He wants to take life. I declare and decree tonight. That none of us will die. We will not die. But live to proclaim the works of the Lord. Your children will not die prematurely. Your husband will not die prematurely. Your wife will not die prematurely. Your sisters and brothers will not die prematurely. God will defend your life. God will keep your life. He's able and he's able. He's more than able to do what you can ever hope or think. And tonight I promise you, God is shifting things around for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to invite. Because God is doing great and mighty things. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Begin to thank him. If you are hearing the sound of my voice and you are still in the timeline, begin to tell him, thank you, Jesus. Male Keba Shanda for fighting for us. Thank you, Jesus, for defending us. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to tell him, if you are still watching me tonight, begin to tell God, begin to tell Jesus, thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for defending us. Thank you for pleading our cause tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, mighty everlasting father. Thank you, king of glory. 
Thank you for being the fourth man in our life. Thank you for fighting our battles. Thank you for defending us. Thank you for putting our enemies to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for doing what only you can do because you are our father. Thank you, father. Thank you, father. Thank you, son. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Because tonight, you don't know, we have done something tonight that the enemy is so surprised that we are still awake tonight because they are still there doing what they know how to do. But God said they will scatter. They have not gathered by God. They have not gathered unto God. The Bible said they shall be scattered. They shall scatter in the name of Jesus. They shall scatter in the name of Jesus. They shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Every soul, everything they have sown in your life, in your marriage, in your destiny, we begin to approve them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to approve them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to approve them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Your marriage will be sweet. Your children will prosper. You will be married. You will succeed in everything that you lay your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For that which you have done, for that which you are yet to do. Give him praise wherever you are. Don't give up. God is fighting for you. Put your trust in this God. Don't give up. Because God is fighting your battles. If you are awake tonight, you are blessed. You are blessed. Why I said it? Because there are some people that the enemy have come to put chains on their hands. Let me tell you, when your hand is... When they use the handcuff, you know the, the handcuff that the police use? When they put a handcuff on your hands, you cannot use it. That is why you see some people, they are stuck. That doesn't work because there are some chains that they have chained. They have put a handcuff on the man's hand. They have put a handcuff on the, the thing is not just working. Nothing is working. So God has come to plead your cause tonight. So when God plead your cause tonight, who, who, when God is for you, who can be against you? When God is for you, who can be against you? That is my joy. My jo that is my joy. That God is for me. Nobody can be against me. God is feeding my cause. God is fighting my battles. That is why I can come out tonight and pray. I said, the devil, enough to what you are doing in this house. Enough to what you are doing in my family. Enough to what you are doing in my marriage. Enough to what you are doing in my children's life. Begin to tell him that enough is enough. Because God is feeding our cause tonight. There's nothing the enemy can do about it. It's too late now because God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne. You are the Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. Let me tell you if God open your spiritual eyes and see the and see the battle that is fighting for you, you will ever forever give Him praise. You will forever give Him thanks. If God will open your spiritual eyes to see who those that are with you, there are more than those that are against you. So don't be scared. Don't be weary. Don't be weary in well doing because in due time. God, you will see the salvation of the Lord. Don't worry. God is still on your side. Don't give up. Let the enemy see you smile. They say things are not working right for you. Let the enemy see you smile. And they, 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 you know, when you are smiling, they will be so angry. They say, we have done too much for this. We have done so much to this woman. And she's still standing. I pray. And I, I begin to pray tonight. And I begin to decree that you will stand in the name of Jesus. You will jump for joy in the name of Jesus. And you will celebrate in the mighty name of Jesus. And your song is going to be, I never know he has favored me this way. I didn't know he has favored me this way. I never know he has favored me this way. He has favored me this way. Thank you, Jesus. When God will begin to open doors for you, when you dare put your trust in this God, when he begins to open doors for you, you begin to sing, I never know you have revered me this way. It looks like things are not working the right way you think. But let me tell you, God is working behind the scene for you. God is moving mountains for you. God is feeding your cars tonight. The devil is holding you back. God said, no, let her lose. Lose. Jesus came to this, to the, to the, to the, a place where Lazarus was buried. They said he has decayed. Nothing can work. Nothing can come out of this place tonight. Ah, leave him alone. He has been buried. Hey, it's already smelling. Nobody, nobody can go near there. Just say no. 
Take away the song. Every stone tonight that is hindering you from shining. Every stone that the enemy have laid over your life, over your destiny. Jesus has come tonight to move those stones. Male said, roll away the stone. I know they said your marriage will not work. Tonight I decree your marriage shall work. Is there any way they have buried anything that concerns you? Today, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, have come to roll away the stone. Stone. He said, roll away the stone. We know uh, the dust is have decayed. Uh, but he raised up and said, Father, I thank you because you have heard my prayer. I'm not doing this because I know you can do it. I know in my heart God can move mountains. I know in my heart God can make that marriage work. I know in my heart you will be married. I know in my heart you will be healed. I know in my heart that God's going to surprise you. So when he said, roll away the stone. And they did. And what he said, Lazarus, come forth. That who was dead, that man that was there came forth. Ah, it's about a dead tonight. We begin to call that marriage forth. Rabba Shandaya. And they said you will not be married. We begin to call your husband forth. Lekendaba Sandayaba. Elekeba Sokoba Sandaya. Eleba Shandaya. They say you will not be married. Helekaba Sandaya Baba. They say you will not have a child. We begin to call your children forth. Lekeba Sandaya Baba. Helekeba Shanda. The same way that God called out Lazarus. The same way tonight. Everything that concerns you, they have been buried and they say it will not work. Tonight they begin to walk. They begin to walk tonight. Malek Shandaya. Let them begin to walk for you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing is dead when Jesus appears. Everything that is dead, when Jesus comes, we begin to rise again. Jesus is here tonight in your house. Jesus is there tonight where you are. And he begin to raise everything that is dead. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Give God praise tonight. Give him praise tonight because he has come to. These angels of the living God are doing great things for us tonight. I pray that everything that the enemy said is dead in your life. It's a life again in the name of Jesus. Those things that they said will never come alive. Jesus has come to resurrect every one of them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for, uh, for, for coming to join me because God have rolled away the stone of death. God have come to roll away the stone of divorce. God have come to roll away the stone of death in the name of Jesus. So everything that is dead in your family today eh, is coming alive again in the name of Jesus. You are saying, release him. Lose him and let him go. Tonight, as everything that has been tied in your life and your destiny, lose him, devil, and let him go. Lose him tonight and let him go. Lose their marriage. Lose their children. Lose their life. Lose their single woman. Lose their married woman. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lose those that are sick tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because power belongs to him. We will not die but live. To proclaim the words of the Lord. We will not die but live to proclaim the words of the Lord. Even when he said, Lazarus, come forth. There were cities that had been tied him. They have, been, that, they have laid in his body. All the things that Jesus said, lose him and let him go. Tell that thing that is not in the name of Jesus. Your marriage is not working. Lose that marriage in the name of Jesus. You don't have a husband. Ah, and they're laying something about you. God tonight have come to plead your cause. Plead our cause, O oh Lord, and put our enemies to shame. For your name's sake, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all for coming to join me tonight. May God bless every one of you. I pray that Almighty God, that had begun a good work in us, will perfect it. That that which that the enemy have come to sow in our life, that God Almighty have come to release us, have come to set us free tonight. I pray that the will of God will be done over our life, over our destiny. Thanks for joining me. May God bless you. May the Spirit of God begin to guide you and protect you and your family like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for those that have come to like this video and thank you for those that are sharing. May God bless every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you all and good night. Bye-bye.